Hello and welcome to this video playing Pirat 52. Pirat 52. Did we have a Dirty Harry before? No. Okay, I'll go for the troll move. This is 100% provocation. There's really no chess content to h5 here. That's really a different uh, thing uh, compared to the Dirty Harry, which is really, um, which has some points. Yeah, here h5 is uh, mostly just trolling. So get some kind of open Sicilian where h5 is played. And bishop b5 is played, which is uh, admittedly not making much sense. Bishop b5 and h5, I mean, they, they both don't belong into this position. But that, that almost looks like a normal dirty Harry now. Just with the bishop on c4 instead of b5. Uh, that could be interesting. I'm, I'm trying to take bishop c5, knight g4, starting those attacks on h2 and f2. And the bishop is really wrong on b5 here. So he's stopping part of this, but I can take. Play bishop c5. In some cases, knight g4 is possible even here based on the fact that knight g4 takes, takes, threatens may g3, I can sometimes take. So if, um, for example, queen d1, then knight g4 is uh, maybe possible. Okay, um, I can play a6, b5 for very rapid development. Knight g4 here can be taken and then pawn g3. I have queen e5 though for queen h5. Okay, how ridiculous is knight g4? Knight g4 takes, takes. g3 and then queen e5 for queen h5. I don't see how he stops it. And it sounds odd, but I don't see how he stops it. Knight g4, h takes, h takes, g3, queen e5, for queen h5. How does he stop queen h5, h1 checkmate? Rook d1? No. Okay, if it doesn't work and I'm a complete clown, then so be it. Queen e5, yeah, for queen h5. What am I overlooking? It's probably something very simple. I'm um, maybe he moves the rook away, and after queen h5, king f1. But I couldn't quite believe that this is on. Okay, so queen h5 or queen h5, king f1, check, king e2, this is safe. Mm. 
Hmm. He's got bishop f4 sometimes. Yeah, what can I say? That that sacrifice just doesn't work. That is the only defense, but it is it is a defense. Bishop e three now. Queen f3 check, king d2, and white is uh, winning. Uh. Yeah, that was that was pretty ridiculous, actually. Yeah. Given that, I mean, I just have this, which is clearly fine for me, yeah, but I, I just didn't see why uh, it wouldn't work. And it, it doesn't work. I mean, for exactly the, the line that, uh, that he played. This is, of course, um, completely okay and must be. I mean, I'm, I'm just uh, time up on a bishop c4 variation. Yeah, this is um, perfectly fine. But okay, so let's check this just, but this is the only real defense, but it is enough. Yeah, rook d1. Mm, yeah, it just doesn't work. It's, it's you can um, summarize the game into this one sentence. This move does not work. Yeah. So I should go a6, and then I get something that is very similar to in the in the proper open variation, the dirty Harry. There is this line. Something something like that. And uh, a6. You can see I, I get this basically with tempo in my in the game. This is a, a better version of that line. Just don't play knight g4. But I mean, that is the thing. Sometimes you um, think a move works and you don't see why it wouldn't work and then you don't quite believe it and you don't play it and ultimately it did work. And here um, I spotted this just too late. If you really feel something is playable and working and should be okay, and you have to trust um, yourself. In this case, I was just wrong about it. Thanks for watching.